Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with my December book. I'm not doing a December daily because <laughs> I'm just now starting and today's what? 11th, 12th? I am way behind. So I'm going to start out using this stuff. I, oh, somebody cleaned out their Christmas stuff, got rid of what they were making as a Christmas book. And I got an envelope full of cool stuff passed to me by my friend Cindy Utter, who was passed to her by somebody else. And I put all this stuff away, thinking that, you know, I would use it for December. And then there's a whole other bag of this kind of stuff here. Pages and pages, oh sorry, pages and pages of things that she did. And I think this might have been, I like this red ticking, this might have been what was going to be a cover of some sort. But I don't make my books this large, so I'm going to save this and set it aside. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my standard size box I use for my Christmas stuff, which is the little chili, uh, Carol Shelby's chili bo mix box, because I don't want a big, huge Christmas thing. I just like, you know, I do little stuff. So there's that. While I was looking through there, I thought, wow, this will make a great cover. And then I got to looking at it and thought, holy crud, this is too big for my box. Oh, contraire, Pierre, we have a cutter. <laughs> so, um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here and kind of look at it and do the judgmental thing on it. And then cut. I think I hate to ruin this. All right, so I'll, I'll try to cut as close to the poinsettia as I can because I think I might use this somewhere else. And then I want this to be the front cover of the book. And that way I, I'm, I may not have to cover a whole lot. <gasps> we shall see. Okay, so let us get a little implement here. My friend calls this a back scratcher. It is evil to her. She hates measuring stuff. We joke about it all the time. Okay, let's put this here. I, this doesn't have to be straight. It just has to be not cutting up that poinsettia. Let me, wait, I could make it straight, couldn't I? Well, a little, a little amount of effort is desired. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, I hate to do this to her stuff, but I'm going to cut it. And half. Oh, excellent. Okay, so that went well. Now let's pull off this tape. And she glued, like this was on the back side. I'm not going to use this. This has washi tape that will need to... Oh, that's nice. It peeled up lovely. Fabulous. Okay, that in the trash there. And I want to ruin the essence of her stuff. I would like to put this way because I could get, I think it would look really nice this way, but I don't want to make my book a flip up. So we're trying to figure out how to get this thing on here. I think it might be too wide for the box. Ugh. But this might not be. I'd have to, no, that's not going to work neither. No! Very. So Louie, uh, well, if I push this to the top and this to the edge, this will fit on the front of the box. I might have to use this portion, which I, re I really love this paper. And I love this too. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so we might have to save this for another time. This could be the front of the box. I think that might work. But then if I'm going to do this... I'm going to have to figure out what to do about this and this. Ho oh, hum. Okay, so let me look through some of the other things here. There's lots of lovely things here. Not all, it's it's on stiff boards and stuff, so it's not stuff that you know I can bend around the corner type stuff. I might have to. 
Oh, those houses sure are cute. She did a lovely job. I don't know why she didn't finish because it sure is cute stuff. All right, so let's take a look through this bag right here see what we got. Like I said, I've had this stuff for months and months. I put it away so that it would be here when I wanted it. Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh, why did she not finish these? Oops, snagging on my shirt. All right, so let's put that there like that. These are just stinking bloody cute. Oh, these are, oh, that's a anchor jiff. Oh, wow, fabric, okay. Um, what's all this other stuff? Look at this. There's a coin there with an S. It says Santa Claus, and she's got another pop-up here. Ooh. I need to bend something over the box and use it for a covering. Oh my gosh, some of these are so beautiful. Oh, it's going to kill me to tear this stuff up, but this is way too big for me. So I do want to use as much of it as I can without destroying the whole total thing. Although, I think it's going to come to that because, like I said, this stuff is too large. Okay, so I'm going to have to think about plan B to um, cover the box. All right, so when I got this, I had some of this cardstock. I think I picked this up at Tuesday morning three or four years ago, and I made an um, envelope, envelope, tomato, tomato, and then I shoved stuff inside here. Oh, what's in here? I haven't looked at this stuff in so long. Oh, this is bits and pieces of Christmas papers. Okay, I might could use this down the spine. Uh, I kind of want some stuff to match a little bit. Maybe. Kinda. I wonder if this would be okay to use. This is felted paper. <gasps> oh, yeah. We're, oh, oh. Hello, honey. Look at this. Red paper with little... It's red. You know, can you see it? It's red and white dash. Red dashes on a white background. I wonder if that would take away from the... Uh, okay, here. Maybe I could use this instead. Yeah, okay. So, um, let's try this. and put this stuff... And I tried to corral all my extra strips of embossed paper that had snowflakes and different designs embossed on it. Here's that envelope. Let me put that there. I think maybe... If I do it right, I could overlap this on here, crease it, and then make this the front as much as I can get on there, and then the spine, and this is the back of the book, although, boy, that's really loud. Um, it's kind of way different than the subtlety of the the brown and vintage look here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe not. That's not much better. Okay, a hunting we shall go. All right, I found full sheets of, uh, this is a Christmas card stock that's 12 by 12. I think I'm going to have to change how I do this. I might cover this in the card stock so that it has a cohesive look. And then I don't know. We're gonna use this one way or the other. I am determined to use this. And I like the other one too. So we're going to cover this thing. I spared no expense for my cover. <laughs> and the chili was really good too. Okay. All right, so this is a cardstock, so this is going to be a little more tricky than using regular paper. So let's put this on this mat, and we'll put this here. Uh, let me tape this down so I make sure 
Let me do it the way I need to do it. And I'm going to take one. I'm going to put this. Uh, maybe I ought to cut this a little straighter. Hello. That might be helpful if it's actually a straight line. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to cut too much. I can't see a blessed thing. Here we go. I don't want to cut too much off of this. But I do want a straight line. There we go. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> because the end was not straight. Okay, we're just doing really well here. Let's cut this straight. Now, I just guesstimated that. And now, I'm going to create a new problem. <laughs> Why would I do anything like normal people do it? All right, so now when it sits, okay, that's good enough. All right, so let's try take two. So we'll do it this way. I really do not want, this is cardstock and I think when it bends, it's really gonna be a beast. One more time. Plan two oh plan two point one oh nine 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 nine. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the duct tape, and yes, this is real red, and it may look pink on camera, but this is like Christmas red. And I've had it a while and I've never used it. Okay. So, to make my life so much better, after I could peel all this off, it's not, <laughs> it's just not coming off. There we go. I am going to take the duct tape and use this on my spine, which will reinforce it. Maybe. <laughs> See what happens when you have very short fingernails? You stunt their growth by doing this so they never grow long again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna make this. I don't know. I don't think that's quite wide enough. We shall see what we shall see. All right, so I'm gonna put it over. Oh, you can see right through it. You can see the ingredients. Yeah, but after I put a bunch of Christmas stuff over it, I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> Take this. And boy, I'm cutting it really close on the edge. You know what? Maybe I should have done it double. Okay. Holy moly. Don't you feel like sometimes when you watch me, it's like the clown car going? <laughs> ah. All right, so let's see. Wow, that's cutting it really close, but I think it'll be covered up with the board so it won't matter that I've cut it so close because this will give it bendability. Oh, don't do that too hard or you end up ruining it. Okay. All right, so that'll give it a little more stability and it'll be able to fold open. And close. Oh, look, it already has alligator mouth. <laughs> I haven't put anything in it yet. Oh. Oh, well. You know, when you use duct tape, you kind of more or less expect silliness like this. All right, so there's that. All righty. Now, what do I do next? Let's see. I was going to not use this. She glue this on there. Oh. If I do that though, it's gonna mess it up big time. I hate to ruin this. Okay, well, we're back to plan, plan 2.1. <laughs> so I think 
the best thing to do is to take this and just glue this on top of the, sorry, you can't see that, can you? Um, glue this on here and then trim it off. But when I butt it up against here, I'm gonna make sure that I butt it up against here when I glue it and not do it on the line here because I don't want this stuff to be bending. So I want it to kind of be butted up against there on two sides and then I will glue it and I will cut it. But first, the thought has occurred to me that we need some red. Why, well, yes we do. Because this is not going to be covered up with any paper or anything. And it is a cardboard box after all. So let me just do this on the bare sides. This is called Love Letter Red by Memento Lux. I have probably re-inked this pad a million times and it's still hanging in. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll take some pretty strong glue like PBA. And we shall goop it up in a lovely manner with a fancy schmancy grapea from the Quality Inn. Yeah, Quality Inn. Mm -hmm. Lord knows how old this thing is. Probably as old as I am. And I'm not telling you how old that is. You know, you can see a lot from people's hands in the cameras, but sometimes you get fooled. If you don't see their hands and you hear their voices and then you see my person, you go, wow, I thought you were younger. <laughs> you have a young voice. In other words, wow, you're older than I thought you were. <laughs> okay. That's, whoop. I had that right on the edge and then I wiped it off. What a goo. Okay, so now we're going to take this. We are going to butt it up against here. And it's hard for me to show you this whole thing in screen, so hang on two seconds while I line it up. And then bend it to be sure it's not. Yep, that's excellent. I don't want anything to interfere with the um, folding to and fro. Make sure it's stuck. And then once it dries, I will just take this and cut around here and then that should be the end of it. Um, then what I'm gonna do next is I have got, well, I guess it doesn't matter if it's dry. I can cut it now. Oops. All right. That went well. Let's go this way. I know there's glue oozing out over here, but since it's be on the back side, I don't suppose it really matters. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe I didn't press down hard enough. I had a feeling the glue is in the way. Okay, so there is that. That's the back cover. This is the spine, and then I'm going to glue it again on the front. But I needed a straight edge to do that with, and I did not want to... Um, depend on this to be my straight edge. So, man, it's really hard to see when you try to keep from getting shadows for filming and then you can't see what you're doing. All right, so I'm gonna do this the same way I did the, the back side. 
probably did them in reverse order, but I guess it doesn't really matter. What really matters is I get the words right side up. The other day I put something together. <laughs> it was upside down. I was like, ah. I took it out and redid it, but I was like, oh, fooey. I was so excited about the project I was working on that I got carried away as usual. No one paying attention. Watching a movie on TV while I was doing it probably didn't help any. All right, so. I need to make sure I have glue on the ends here because stuff tends to come undone around the edges. All right, let's give it a try. Right side up. We're going to line up the front bottom and the front side and bend to make sure. Yep. All right. Let's see. Where's my phone holder? Here we go. I'm just going to kind of take the bowl and folder and press down to make sure it has good contact. If this was paper, I would wrap it around the edges like you do other books, but I decided I'm not doing that this time. All right, so there's that. PVA is really good, strong glue. Now, you didn't hear me mention the word cheap, right? Because <laughs> you're not. You're not cheap. All right. It is not cheap. All right, so... Let's go up this way, and then after this I'm probably going to need to change my blade because it will be too sticky for some other things I'm going to do, and dull. So I've been cutting file folders for class I'm taking, and that tends to dull the blade. Here we go. Alrighty. So there is a pretty quick cover for... 15 minutes. Not bad, huh? I might have to ink it again, but I don't think it's too terrible. Except for it's an alligator mouth. All right, so now I have to think about what's on the inside. And I, I can do the same thing to the inside that I did with the outside, just glue it in here. And then this will be the base for anything else. I don't see, I don't know, do I? I don't, man, I do not want to cut this thing up. I really like this. Oh, phooey. I could have put this on the inside cover. No, it doesn't close because it's got to pop up. All right, so <laughs> this is why I don't film while I'm making something where I don't know what the end result's going to be. It's because... I changed my mind like 5,000 times. So yes, we're going with paper. Oh look, paper. <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, I know I had two. I know I had two. Don't start it without the second one. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's more than two, good. In case I mess it up. All right, so I'm gonna take this. Maybe. <laughs> Dad gum it. Hey. I'm gonna glue it on here like I did the outside. And smooth it like icing on a cake. I'm gonna make sure I go to the edges because that's where stuff tends to come off because of opening and closing and handling. Come on, go to the edge. All right. Let's see. I don't want to get it inside the fold. I want to make sure it'll open without leaving that puckered look. And Voila, number one. 
And since there's no direction, I can flip it upside down. Maybe I should have put glue closer to the edge. Okay. Let's smooth it out. I wonder how many hotel keys or hotels know what we use our key cards for. <laughs> no, ma'am, you're a crafter, you're denied a key card. We know what you're doing with your key cards. All right, I'm going to put this down there. Same way I did the other one. Give it a, yep. Is good. You know, I just set the bone folder down. What did I do with it? Holy moly. Okay, well, don't see it. Oh, here it is. White table, semi-white bone folder amongst white paper. And just smooth it to the outsides. And there's the glue that's squeezed out. Lovely. I'm not unhappy about that. Now I am going to set this aside because this is an awful lot of wetness on this. I'm going to set this aside. And then I will come back in a couple hours and I will cut it. So you're not going to see me moaning and groaning about cutting this. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's cover. Now we have to think about... How many pages? I think I'm not going to do it that way like I did it last year. Let me go get the last two years in review. All right, here are the ones that I made for the last two years. And I can't remember which one is what year. But I have to have, you know, a giant huge rubber band to keep it closed. It's so fat. Um, again, this is one of those Wolf, Wolf. This is one of those Carol Shelby um chili boxes and I want to keep them all the same size and we eat enough chili in the winter that I have enough so I did one two I did two giant um oh the word escapes me you know things <laughs> I can't think wait what are they called oh I guess it doesn't matter anyway I made two and they are stinking full. I mean, they're really full. And I did Christmas cards from people as they came in. And there was no way to anticipate how big the signatures. <laughs> there was no telling how big the signatures would be. Because people sent late cards. And, and or, you know, I'd finish this by the time they sent cards. And the mail's so slow now that you could get your Christmas card in February. My apologies to those of you who are postal workers or married to postal workers. That is my disclaimer. We still love you. We understand. Not always happy about it, but we understand. Okay, so there's that disclaimer. All right, so then this one has three signatures in it. And it was from Christmas cards from Christmas's past. And I try to put tabs on them and... There's my family members. And these are my dear friends from Memphis whose house got cracked in two by a giant tree. I feel so bad. I saw the picture she posted on Facebook and I gasp. All right, so there's that. Anyway, so there's three signatures in here. And this one, what year was this? Do I have a year in here? 2019. So this one must be 20. Okay, Vicki. Good, good documentation. <laughs> I have no idea what year this was. I think this was 20. Although you couldn't tell by anything in here because there's no numbers. Oh, yes, there is. January 10th, 2020. Okay, so this was done right after Christmas was done. I put the last bits together. All right, so this is from 19, and this was from 20, and this other thing will be for 21. Um, I f this came off of some product or something, so I figured, eh, it's, it's red, it's elastic-y, now it's called a closure. 
This, on the other hand, is just an ugly rubber band that's like huge and it holds it for now. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I will make pages that will fit in here and then later on I will know how many signatures each one, each, how many pages will be in each signature. I have a feeling I will end up with no less than two to th or probably no more than three signatures because look at these guys they're pretty fat and there's not that much stuff in there um that's what i did was this one was so fat that i cut the third signature out and took it completely out and covered it up with something else so you wouldn't know that where the holes were where i covered it i mean where i poked the holes for the signature so probably i will have three signatures in here since i have all this plentiful supplies so these will be my, this will be the size my Christmas book is for uh, 2021. All right, so there's that. Um, let me see how we doing here dry wise. Well, we're a little bowed, so I think we need to sit on, sit on, sit under a few bricks, something hard, overnight until it completely dries, so it's not bowed. All right, so there's that. Um, so what I need to do is I need to go through all these papers that got donated to me of somebody else's Christmas book, and I need to take a look to see what I can cut down without totally ruining it, what I can use in my book, because the sizes are so different. This is more. This is a, a larger rectangular re rectangle book, where mine is not square, but it's a little closer to square than what this is. So let's see, what size is it? Um, oh my gosh. You know, it's a wonder I can find anything any day of the week. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is... four inches by... Five inches. Yeah. It's a four by five. Yep. So, um, if I use any of her stuff, I may end up having to put it in like this and trimming down the edges because it's just too tall for what I want to use it for. See, it's sticking out. And I'm not sure I really want to turn my stuff sideways like that. But let me show you all the lovely things are in here. This has got snow inside it. It's glitter. And there's words to a Christmas song, Oh Christmas Tree. And then she's got a nice little scene right here. And this one are like two Christmas postcards. giant tree. I don't know how. I, I can't get this whole thing in there. I don't know how I would make this work. I might have to cut the tree and make it look smaller. And this is wonderful. This is the, um, ooh, I used to know what it was called. A, this is a quilted tree where you take the um, papers and you fold them and then into a certain direction. So I might have to feel around on the back to where it all begins and ends, and I will cut, I think I'm going to cut this tree out and use the tree. I don't care so much about most of it, except for I do care about this beautiful quilted looking tree, because that is a lot of work, and it's very pretty. What's this? This is blue paper. Oh my goodness, there's a snowman and reindeer. I don't know if I will use this. I like the snowman though. Oh, here's one with lots going on. There are, there is glitter galore on these things. She has a lot of these curly Q things that are. What is it? Oh, it's a, it's a stick on. Okay. Then there's this. Oh, see, I could probably trim some of these Santa heads down. This one has. Uh, I think it's, oops, it's plastic. Look at that, I already broke it. It's plastic, but it's glued onto the side of the Santa head. I may not be able to save him, but I can save this one. 
not much going on on the back side. Oh, well, wait. Okay, that's something different. That is probably not going to go anywhere in the book. Okay. There's all kinds of lovely stuff here. Look at this. This is a see-through. Look at that. That's an ornament through like, a, looks like it's through, oh, look at that. Is that lovely? I'm going to have to cut this out and adapt it a little bit. I don't know what used to be there. There's a, um, a snap and a pen, a safety pen. I don't know what it used to be back there, but whatever it is, it's gone. I like this paper. There's a lovely postcard on the back, but it looks it's been ripped and so I don't know if I can save that. This thing right here concerns me. This is the one I am worried about the most because look at this. You see there's acetate here and it has a lovely Christmas tree and lace curtains and look at the window stuff and there's lights. And guess what? There's something like that on the back side where it's from the inside of the house. This is the outside view. You turn it over and there's the Christmas tree you're seeing from the window on this side, on this side, on the inside of the house. Now, I can probably save one half of it, but I don't, I don't know if I can save the whole thing because it's really, it's really big. Well, maybe I can. Well, maybe I can. I'm going to try like anything to save this because I think this is just like the icing on the cake. That is so stinking clever. Here are Christmas ornaments again with the quilted look. I'm going to have to poach some of these off of here and save some of these. There's two of them that are the big ones like that. I love that look. I made balls, Christmas balls like that one year that were the quilted balls. And I like these because look, they fold up. They're two-dimensional. Those are stinking cute. Here's a postcard with a glitter Christmas tree. There's a Santa Claus, and there's a town. I might, oh, look, oh, oh, look at this extra touch. She put um, batting on here on, on the chimney to make it look like smoke is coming out. <gasps> How cute is that? All right, these were um, rub-ons that got gifted to me. And then... These are parts of Christmas cards. I don't think they're mine. Oh, I know they're not mine because mine never... No. <laughs> no. Oh, Japanese paper. So I saved... These were bits and pieces that were in there that got saved. So I, I don't know the origin of any of the... Oh, look at this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Somebody tried to make a Christmas card out of this. Look at that. That would make... Um, a nice part of a signature, and there's two of them in here. Oh, there's three, four, <gasps> jackpot, hot diggity. Look at that. Two with it like this and two like that. Look at that. <gasps> I'm feeling very lucky. All right, so there's those. This is cute. This is gonna have to go in there. It's little tiny seed beads with little bitty candy canes. So kind of a trim. And how cute is this? All right. So there's lots of adorable stuff in here that oh, I can cut out and save. Look at all these Christmas cards that are upside down. <laughs> what I put in here? This says stickers. Okay. Oh, I know these are mostly from, these are from my stash because I recognize them. So these are Christmas stickers, and I think majority of them were purchased at Hobby Lobby. Yep. So these will be, I keep all my Christmas stuff in one spot, even my washi. I try to keep all my Christmas washi together in a drawer in my Ikea, the, you know, the long drawer one with the skinny, skinny wide drawers. There's nothing but Christmas that's dedicated in that drawer. It's just dedicated Christmas stuff. Look, here's my washi I got out of the drawer. And I have um, sticker set, not uh, sticker set, stamp sets in there that are all Christmas related too. So I put them all in one place. So if I need Christmas themed stuff, ta-da, I go to that drawer and that's all I find in there. And then I have another one that has Thanksgiving and Easter and miscellaneous holidays in it. So when I need something, I can find it. 
Okay, so that's all I'm going to do today is the um, the cover and show you what I'm going to what I have available to work in it with. And there's still more stuff in the drawer that I have not gotten out, but it's things that are that stick up. Oh wait, here's something else. Oh my word, cards and envelopes. See, I told you I put all my Christmas stuff together. Look at that. These are little gifty envelope things. I might be able to incorporate some of those in there. Uh, so there's that. All right. I think I went over everything. Oh, no, I did not. No, I did not. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Here's more. Look at this. There's this one. The manger scene. Did I show you guys? Yes, I did. I went through this. There's a handkerchief. The, Santa, the S that says Santa Claus on it. So I'm going to incorporate as much stuff in there as I can from this because I hate to see this stuff go to waste because somebody spent a lot of time gluing and thinking and doing. And I that's really cute. I can't stand to throw this away. This year Christmas book may not be about me. It'll be about this lovely woman's stuff. Yeah. Plus, it makes my life easier <laughs> if I use somebody else's stuff and I don't have to think about it. All right, so this really is it. I got to clean off my desk. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video where I will start putting together signatures and showing you what I'm going to do with the signatures. I will pre-cut my pages to fit inside here and fold them in half and then start working on the signatures so that I can... Um, get started and kind of catch up with everybody else. Like I said, this is not a December daily. I've already blown that and I'm not going to rush trying to get this thing finished. It doesn't get finished till the middle of January. That's just the way it goes. If I know me, it'll be finished by Christmas, but nevertheless, just in case I'm covering my bases. Um, and I did not do carved December this year either because I've been a little overwhelmed by some classes that I'm taking that I'm really enjoying and I don't want to stop doing their stuff to do this. But I decided since I already had two years of the Christmas books, I needed a lovely trio, right? Okay, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. I will leave a category all on its own for uh, Christmas books in the, what do you call them? You know what I'm talking about. It'll be grouped together so you can find the playlist. That's it. I cannot, sorry guys, I'm having late afternoon tea because my brain has just gone to mud. Oh, yeah, yeah. Too much sunshine. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging in. Bye, everybody.